Hello and welcome to this quick introduction to Opera simulation software for Iron Beam device simulation. Opera has been in commercial development since 1984. In 2018, Opera joined Dasso Systems as part of the Simulia brand. Simulia comprises simulation software for different physics at different scales. Opera is part of the electromagnetics portfolio, offering simulation and optimization capabilities for electromagnetic devices. In this presentation, we'll look at Opera's capabilities in analyzing ion beam devices. If we consider a general line device in terms of simulation, what components might we encounter? Very often we have a source of particles, occasionally the particles that are eventually required, but more often there are electrons or ions in a lower ionization state than needed. These enter a beam transport system where the beam might be accelerated, focused and steered. If the beam doesn't contain the required particle species, some interaction is required, either with a surface or a volume. In this region, exchange of charge and momentum takes place to give the required species. This often requires some sort of confinement system to increase the residence time of the particles in this region. Once the required ions have been produced, they need to be extracted from the interaction region, usually electrostatically. Unwanted particles that might also be extracted then need to be removed from the beam using electric and or magnetic fields before the beam is transported for use. After transport, the beam is incident on its target, be it a further interaction volume or surface, and spent beams are incident on dumps where the residual beam energy is absorbed. So what do we need a simulation tool to be able to do so that we can design and analyze an ion beam device? We need to be able to generate primary particles. We need to be able to interact these particles with both electric and magnetic fields to accelerate, focus and steer the beam. And we need particle particle, particle surface and particle volume interactions. In all of these, we need to be able to simulate general scattering processes where charge and momentum exchange can occur. Having seen what we might need to simulate, I'd like to turn to how these features of Opera that help us meet these goals. I'll leave particle generation aside for the moment and look at a couple of options for determining the interaction between charged particles, electric and magnetic fields. If we limit the problem to static fields, then we can use an efficient approach that can significantly reduce potential run times. Instead of tracking super particles, we calculate the trajectories of current tracks and then find the self-consistent trajectories in the presence of electric fields, both applied and from space charge, magnetic fields, both applied and from the beam self field. This is the principle behind Opera's space charge solver. So the process in outline, we initially solve Poisson's equation without space charge using finite elements. We then launch particle tracks from primary emitter regions and track them in the electrostatic and any applied magnetostatic fields. Space charge is aligned to the FE mesh, depending on its current in the tracks and the time spent in the proximity of the mesh element. The magnetic field from the tracks can also be calculated. We then resolve for the updated fields, launch tracks again, including any that are generated by secondary emission, and calculate the new trajectories. This continues until self-consistent trajectories are found. During the process, we can also introduce additional features such as charging of dielectric surfaces and the consequent current flow and effect on the electrostatic field. So in summary, the space charge solver in Opera incorporates an efficient technique that can track particles self-consistently in combined fields. The technique allows us to introduce primary particles, enables interactions to produce secondary particles. The particle tracks carry current and have no momentum and power, so we can calculate power deposition. And we can do this fast enough to be able to simulate real world devices. I've mentioned tracking in combined fields several times and the use of an applied magnetic field is common in ion beam devices. Opera provides several ways to add the applied magnetic field to the particle simulation. The simplest is the application of a uniform external field supplied or specified by its components. A feature often used in Opera is to represent coils of various shapes as Biosalvar conductors. These are extremely efficient and may be included in Opera's space charge solver model. The resulting magnetic fields will be calculated and used during the space charge simulation. Alternatively, you can import field data from measurements. The need to include the space charge from the particles is the norm, since its presence is often a performance determining factor. Conversely, very often the magnetic field from the beam current is very small compared with the applied field and is often ignored. However, with an intense beam, the self field can be significant and must be calculated self consistently in the simulation. Opera allows this as an option. 
Ions may be generated in opera by the interaction of particles from a primary emitter with a surface on which a secondary emitter has been defined. These are among the simplest types of devices to simulate. Alternatively, the primary particle beam can interact with the volume secondary emitters, generating multiple species. This is typical of the interaction of charged particles with volumes of gases. Having simulated these processes, we need to extract useful metrics from the result. OPERA as standard includes a very capable processor with very flexible tools for generating many useful types of result. All images seen so far here show that fields and tracks have been generated in the post-processor. When it comes to evaluating the statistics of an ion beam, the starting point is again a patch placed across the beam at some user-defined location. Standard tools in the post-processor can then extract intersection data such as the current and velocity components of each intersecting trajectory and the number of current densities. From these, simple additional computations can generate beam metrics, including the moments, emittance, and phase space. These may be performed using Opera scripting language, and if required, example scripts can be made available as a starting point for user-specific processing. The power deposited on surfaces of the model by the particle tracks can be captured on all surfaces on which a secondary emitter is defined. The deposited beam power density is then derived as the difference between incident power and the power in secondary emission species and can be exported similar to OPERA's thermal simulator. Thermal analysis may then be performed either steady state or by time limiting the excitation. A transient thermal analysis may be run to simulate the effect of pulse beams. The steady state thermal profile can then be used in OPERA's stress solver to give a mechanically deformed model that can be reanalyzed in the space charge solver. So on to a brief summary. The features of the Opera Space Shower Solver provide a powerful and flexible tool for the design of ion beam devices. The techniques that it uses allow rapid and accurate analysis. Opera provides all of the features required to perform a complete multi-physics analysis, and the optimizer allows users to rapidly improve designs, even with competing requirements. Thank you for joining us for this quick overview. Please don't hesitate to contact us for more information or check the Dassault system or Opera websites for further details.